you guys say that you're looking at what the shipping companies are making around the world using ports like right here in New York and New Jersey, the largest port here on the East Coast, and you guys feel like you deserve a slice of this? We are just looking to be paid fairly and for the goods we we take care of every day. And we did not stop during COVID, and we don't want to stop right now. Yeah. We are willing to go back as soon as they decide that they'll give us a fair contract. And tell us, what does the fair contract look like? If it's not 50%, what is it? What's fair is whatever my union president is willing to negotiate to, but to be lowballed, we he's not gonna he's not gonna agree to that. Automation is also in a, you know a core issue in this negotiation. What is it about automation that concerns you? We want to protect our jobs. We want to protect our jobs for the future. We want to make sure that everybody will have the chance to make a good living working down the port. Yeah. How long are you guys gonna be out here? As long as it takes. Thank you, Joe, very much for speaking with us. Maria, you know, they say they're going to be out here as long as it takes. This is day one. The estimates for the impact on the economy as the East Coast and the Gulf Coast shut down now for container imports and exports between $3.8 and $5 billion per day. So major impact on the economy could unfold. We talked to the ports just yesterday. They say they already have six vessels anchored outside of the port here in New York and New Jersey, and they expect that number to climb. Maria, I'll send it back to you. All right, Lydia, thanks very much. Lydia Hu in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This strike could reportedly cost the economy, as you just heard, up to $5 billion a day.